Hey everybody, so tonight is the night. We're finally gonna make a part. So there you go, that's what we're making. Um, I'm a little bit nervous because once this machine goes, it goes, all I can do is hit the emergency stop and hope I'm not too late. So let's do it. Um, hope nothing bad happens and let's have a good time. So right now I've got everything zeroed out, the machine's homed, and I've got the machine thinking that it's touching the corner of it. So it's raised up maybe a little less than an inch. I'm going to run it like that, make sure it looks good, and then if that all looks good, we're going to go ahead and do some engraving. Heck yeah. No, see, so I would have an issue. So this is why it's good to be a newbie and go ahead and cut above your project first. Because check that out, it's running across there. I didn't think it would even come close to that. So it, if it was down here where it should have been, it would have just snapped that bit right right off of there, hitting my, um, my fixture. So, whew, that actually scared me just right there. I didn't have my mouse right where it should be. So I guess we will continue to reset this and figure out what just happened there. My theory is I didn't touch off in the X um, axes correctly, um, mainly because I'm struggling here with all these round surfaces to get a good actual spot to touch off. So I'm going to just basically bring it back further than what I originally did, touch off with the X axis again, and then run it maybe a little higher up. Uh, just to make sure, but uh, see if that helps. Yeah, still going too far. Wow, how far is it going to go? I'm really glad I ran this above the surface first because I was confident I was going to hit go and then I thought, you know, I might want to want to make sure. I'm looking at it in the other direction on, I think it's off in the Y direction as well, to where I'd be milling just the side of the piece. There you go, it looks to be pretty safe now. Um, still not right though. I'm going to go back and look at my cam software tonight and see if I can figure out what's going on and where it's touching off of. It's still off-centered because the machining would go from there over to about there, so it should be a little more centered than that. hold this block up just to get kind of a straight edge to see and when it starts cutting down here it's way off so I've got some work to do tonight this wouldn't, this wouldn't work all right I'm gonna stop it frustrated enough I don't need to keep watching it <sighs> all right I'm gonna shut her down and Try to figure out what the heck is going on with my machine tonight. So everybody thinks with this new technology and everything you just push the go button and it makes your part. But tonight is proof that it doesn't always go perfect. Okay, so it's the next night. I figured out what my issue was. It did in fact turn out to be fusion. I had um, one coordinate system for the entire um, cam setup and another coordinate system for this individual tool. So it's supposed to override the the overarching one if you set one for the tool but it wasn't doing that and so that's why it was reverting back to the original one so I'm pretty sure I've got it now just to be sure I went ahead and just traced my bottle opener on here and so I'm going to go ahead and run it on a piece of wood it looks like it's doing what it should right now so I'm going to let it run um, calm down a little bit you can kind of see here what it's doing just very lightly engraving There you have it. Not sure if that's in focus. There you go. So one thing I noticed is I touched off on the center of this line and called that my X, or I mean my Y. And so it's really close here. In reality, I don't think it'll be that much or that close. 
think it turned out pretty good, honestly. It's pretty straight. Just got to make sure I touch off, you know, on a couple points to make sure that it's straight. All right, so here we go. This is technically the first piece of metal that I'm seeing seen on this mill. It's stainless steel, just going ten thousandths of an inch deep. Other than that, I'm just nervous because I don't want anything to crash. Uh, so let's let's get to it. I can't take it anymore. Suspense is killing me. All right, so I went ahead and shut it off. It looks like when I clamped it down like this, it put a little bow in the material. So it's not even getting the sides, but it's getting the center. So what I'm gonna do to compensate, because I don't think it's that much, is just look at my tool offset for the Z. Right now it's at negative 6.8001 inches. And I'm gonna make that negative uh, like 6.8007. I give it like six more thousandths and then restart the program. Okay, I just gave it an extra five thousandths. Okay, five thousandths didn't quite cut it, so I want another five, so we'll see what happens. All right, at this point we're still not all the way there, and we've already added ten thousandths, so I'm not going to go any deeper than that. We need to figure out how to get that bow out of there, because if it's not flat, it's going to, you know, we're moving up to thirty thousandths of cut, and this isn't that thick of material, so I don't want to be doing that. So I'll get back to you. All right, so I can't count decimal places. I was only adding five ten thousandths at a time, not five thousandths. So what I went and did was I just ran it down and touched off where it wasn't touching before. And that was only like 18 thousandths from where we were. So I think that'll be fine. I don't think the bow is anywhere near, you know, that kind of craziness. So at this point it gets kind of boring. Sorry, I don't have my compressed air or my mist going, so it kind of fills up with chips and you can't really see what's going on. But it looks like it's following the right path. It's not too crooked. It looks like I did it a little bit high still, so it's not going to quite be centered on the piece. But it should still look pretty good, and it's just a practice, kind of just a fun piece. That is too cool. It actually, I think it looks better than I thought. I thought it was getting too too high up. Still a little bit on the high side up here. I'd like it to be centered more. But that is sweet. There you have it. This thing works. That's cool. What else can I engrave now? That's pretty fun.